ABCD is a parallelogram. Vector AB is minus 7, 2, and AD is minus 3, 4. It says find the magnitude of DB in third form, giving your answer in its simplest form. Okay, so one way to approach this is to draw a rough diagram. So if we put on the point A, and then the vector AB is back 7 and then down minus 2. So it's back 7, down 2, which would be there. Okay, this is just a rough diagram to give us an idea. And AD will be back 3 and up 4, which will take it to that point there. Right, we are being asked to find, uh, first of all, we, before we can find the magnitude of DB, we need to find what this vector is. Okay, and obviously the point C would be here, which is back three and four up from here, or if you like, seven along and uh, two down from here. Right, now in order to um, do this, uh, we normally do it by calculation, but now we've got, we can visualize it. Now, in order to find the vector db, we can go da plus ab, because we're supposed to do this by calculation. So db will be da plus ab. So that means we're going to go against this vector here. So it's going to be in the opposite direction. So it's going to be plus 3 minus 4. And then we're just going to add minus 7 minus 2 to that. 3 plus minus 7 is minus 4, and minus 4 plus minus 2 is minus 6. And if we can see here, we do go back 4 and down 6. Right, we need to find the magnitude of this vector. So the magnitude, this is what this means, so we have to do minus 4 squared. Now be careful to put the minus 4 into brackets. Minus 4 squared plus minus 6 squared, which is going to give me the square root of 16 plus 36. And now if you don't put that in brackets, then you'll hear you end up with minus 16, minus 36, and you won't be able to take the square root. So please remember to use brackets, particularly if the number is negative. Okay, that gives me the square root of 52. Now we're asked to give that, that's third form, but we need to give it in the simplest form. Now we realise the first square number that goes into that is 4. So we can write this as square root of 4 times 13. So that's going to be the square root of 4 times the square root of 13 using the rule of indices. The square root of 4 is 2, so it gives me 2 root 13 as the final answer. So in this video, we have found the magnitude of the uh, diagonal of one of the parallelograms. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.